Well, now, just in case you thought that compound interest was a joke, wait until you watch this video to the end. You'll be shocked because they are quite of an interesting about numbers. People ask me all the time, Joseph, what do you mean by compound interest? And I'm going to explain in a very simple way before I even start talking about whatever I've written on the board. By the way, guess what? If you stick to the end, guess what? I've actually outlined the simple interest, the compound interest, and I've calculated everything step by step for you to understand. All right? And by the way, guess what? Compound interest is like giving birth to babies who will give birth. And let me explain, okay? Now, there are two types of interest. Whenever you invest your money, we have the simple interest and then we have the compound interest, okay? Now, when we talk about the simple interest is when you invest your money into a deal and then what you're given as an interest, you actually earn that continuously throughout that period of time. For example, if you invest, say, a certain amount of money somewhere and i'm gonna use a case scenario of a million shilling let's say we have person a and person b this is a person a and this is person b now these are two different individuals okay let's say this is joseph and john john decides to invest on a and joseph because he's a good one decides to invest on the compound interest and this is it for example the joseph or the john decides to go with the simple simple interest and invest on treasury bonds and the treasury bonds, obviously, they have a little bit of a higher interest compared to a compound interest, let's say, offered by a money market fund. So that, I have to explain, simple interest are offered by a variety of areas like bills, bonds, fixed deposit, and what have you. Compound interest are offered things like money market fund, we have the circles, and what have you, all right? Or the stocks, they also have that, depends on how the stocks are comparing, but you cannot really rely on that, but let's stick on the one we have on the board. Now, so let's say the guy decides to pick the bonds because they are like, hey, you know what? Bonds are giving me 16% at the end of the year, so I'm going to stick with bonds, all right? So Joseph on the other side is like, okay, fine, I'm going to pick money market fund. Money market fund is giving me 14% and therefore means after deductions with taxes and what a few, the interest goes back to 12%. This one after the deduction, interest go back to 14%. Now, these people, they decide to invest at the same time. So you invest their first million and this guy invests the first million at the same time. So this guy who subjects his first million to this investment, guess what happens now? Oh, by the way. Did, did I tell you to take your single second, does not cost nothing, to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Absolutely, if you're watching me for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Don't ignore for today. I've been reminding you all the times to subscribe. Hit that subscription, like the video, and also comment on the comment section. Let's go on, okay? Now, the million bob that you actually invest there, the first year has ends or ended or ends. The first year, the John on this side gets the 140,000. Basically because 14% of a million shilling, it is actually 140,000. And then the compound interest, the Joseph decided to invest. The first year, Joseph gets 120,000. Why? Because 12% of 1 million is 120,000. Guess what happens with John? Yay! I've won. I actually made more money than Joseph because Joseph invested on this. Get the thing? Okay, now we go to the next one. The next year, because it's a simple interest, and that is the tricky you have to maintain and you have to understand. The second year, you find that now the John will get another 140,000. Why? And then on the other side, the Joseph now gets what? 134,000. Why? Because the baby that was given birth by a million, which is 120,000, it's also attracting you the 12% of this. Therefore, you are at around 134,000. John is like, hmm, okay, I'm still ahead of you, but... You're coming up at a very high rate. I mean, what's happening? What's happening now here? You get what I'm saying? Now, we go to the third year. Because, by the way, let me tell you one secret. The magic of compound interest starts to happen the moment you clock the third year. The moment you clock the third year, guess what happens now? The John has the 140,000. It's a simple interest. Nothing is going on. He's like, yeah. Guess what happens now? Joseph has 150,000, close to 151,000. Guess what happens now? The frowning starts. How exactly did that happen? Why? The babies that you're actually giving birth from your million bob that is on the bones, it's not giving birth. All right? So that means the money is not growing at a higher rate compared to this guy. And you can just imagine if you were to calculate the fourth year, the fifth year, the sixth year, the seventh year, the ninth year. Or let's say all these guys, they actually invest this money for the next nine years all of them we invest we pick a bond that goes for nine years i pick a money market fund that is going for nine years or i pick okay money market fund you don't have to indicate the period of time you can just it's a it's an open-ended okay 
So you go for nine, you go for nine. So let's see what happens at the end of the ninth year. You realize that the ninth year, the total interest that this guy could have earned or which will have earned is 1.2 million and this guy earned 1.77 million. Now, the point is this. When you're starting, you might say, let's see, the bond is giving quite of a big interest. But when you compare it to the money market fund, which is giving you a compound interest, you realize that is actually giving you way more when you come to trading with a lot of time or when you include what you call a, a longer period of time now what's my point am i driving here should i now you know drop all these and go to the money market fund no that's not what i said okay it depends what does it depend on it is you who are investing now the point is this what do you want do you want to invest i always tell people when you want to invest for a longer period of time talk about three years four years and five years look for something that is giving you a compound interest if you're investing for a short period of time let's say an year or maybe let's say two years Go for what? Go for the comp the interest that is one catchable game. For example, let's say John and Joseph. Let's say they just wanted to invest for a whole year, nothing else, nothing going beyond. Obviously, Joseph will get a, a bad deal because you're getting 120,000. This one will get 140,000. So if you're investing for a whole year, therefore it means this side of the investment, which is the bonds, the bills, and what have you, it is giving quite of a good um, you know, uh, returns compared to the other side. Now, that's what you're supposed to differentiate. But now the question is this now, which one is the ultimate way of investment? Because that's the people who usually ask, hey, Joseph, now, because now you've shared those two different things, now, which one should we go with? Again, it depends on what you want. There's someone who want to invest, but the investment they want to to sort of be accessible. For example, look at this. Look at this. For example, let's say this guy goes for the bill or the bond that gives them that a percentage, and this guy goes for that. But there are two different things, scenarios here. Why? Scenario number one, this guy who is on the bonds, you cannot withdraw your cash unless you terminate the contract. And obviously that comes with, uh, with, with, uh, with what do you call them? It comes with the punishments, yeah, because you have to lose some cash because you've terminated the contract and what have you. So there are some of the cash that has to be deducted from your money. So it kind of this kind of do that to discourage you from actually terminating the contract before the contract ends. Let's say for the bills, like yeah, because the bills are the one that goes for a maximum of one year. Bonds goes for above one year or two years, up to 30 years, according to the Kenyan law, okay? Check on how yours goes from your own country. Now, what happens now? On this case scenario, this guy cannot access the money. So the guy is not liquid. It becomes liquid, let's say, after one year, if that's the period, okay? But now this guy is liquid at all the time. What does it mean? The guy can actually access the money at any given moment. This guy can actually withdraw the money today, tomorrow, the other day, and what have you. The interest on this side is actually paid per month. But by virtue of you, he's doing your money at any given moment, there is no issue. So that is exactly how it goes about. So it is good to make sure that you understand all the structure of the MMF, how it works, when do I get the money, can I withdraw at all the time, do they offer the compound interest, whether I withdraw charges, uh, how much is the taxes? The taxes for both ends is actually 15%, regardless of where you invest your cash. So it's good to understand these two things means differently when it comes to investment. Because there is a question that I get to be asked on the comment section, or maybe someone when it comes on my at my private level, that is when you pick my number from the description of this specific video. Because my number is always there for those who are wondering where can they get hold of me. My number is always there. So people come on my inbox and ask me, hey, you know what, Joseph, I would like to invest, but I don't know. I can be able to do what is the best way of to invest. I want the best... Like, we don't have the best way. There's no way we can say, hey, you know what? This is the best. Because when you say it's the best, it means it fulfills the liquidity, it fulfills the best returns, it fulfills investing for a long period, for a short period. Like this. We, we cannot have that kind of a things, okay? So you either choose, do you want to go for long term, for short term, for simple, for compound? Do you want to go for liquidity, not liquidity, and all those kind of things? So first of all, understand. Don't just delve into the investment just because I'm getting into it. Understand. For example, there was a lady approached me and told me, you know what, Joseph, help me to how to terminate my bill i invested for a whole year i realized i'm suffering i need some cash to do one two three and i was like how did you even invest i mean did you consult me did had we ever had a conversation before she told me no we have never had a conversation i just show you uh somebody talking about the same and then i decided to invest but were you offered the coaching and guidance like uh, did they understand exactly what you need before putting the money no i did not consult it's always good. That's what I always tell you. It's good to consult your financial advisor before picking any investment option. Because now she went ahead and fixed that money for the whole stretch of the year. And in some few three months to come, she's supposed to pay the school fees. She didn't know that bill goes for the entire stretch of the year and you cannot acquire that thing unless you terminate the contract. It's good to understand the full structure of whatever you're getting yourself into so you don't get you know caught up in between and you're wondering how exactly can I get myself out of this mess that I'm in as of now. 
So that is basically the difference between the compound interest and also the compound or rather the, the compound interest, yes, and the simple interest. So understand all these things before you do anything out there. Now, the question is this. How exactly do you get started on Money Market Fund? How exactly do you get started on circles? Because I know that's the question that is cooking. Probably you're going to type that as the question on the comment section. And how do you then get started on the bills and bonds? You know what? I always tell you guys, I offer these services at a personal level where I can take you through. But I cannot just throw them to you. First of all, I have to feed to you, explain to you what they are, what do they offer, how do you get started, so that at least we can be able to understand each other. So by the time now you pick, you already know. Guess what? I'm picking this because I know this is the best for me. And that is it. It's always good to make sure that, again, you do all the research. You know, maybe perhaps you just want to do your own research. It's good to make sure that you do research, understand that uh, companies, for example, it's about, if, if it's about money market fund, make sure that companies are regulated by CMA. If it is about bills and bonds, obviously make sure that they're offered by the Central Bank of Kenya because this, uh, that's the body that offers these bills and bonds and what have you. So anyway, guys, guess what? That is it on this video, unless you have any question. So um, that's how we go about. And by the way, for those who do not know how to calculate the compound interest because some guy has like how did it add up to this amount of money i'm trying to add up using this interest yo there's something called the compound interest calculator you can always use it that can help you to make sure that you understand what are the compound interest how can i invest what are they how do i calculate and all those things and by the way this helps me to sort of explain the point uh, there's a video that i made at the beginning of this year where i said if you were to save one shilling or one coin or one dollar each and every day for example january 1st was uh, the first day of the year you save your first dollar your shilling or your beer your kwacha your pula your whatever the money you call it okay so you save it that one thing second day that the january second you said the second the january that first you save your 35 uh, that one shilling or whatever the thing it is on the february first you don't save first you save that too because it is that second day of the year so you continuously do that until you save the last 365 shilling coins whatever the thing it is or puebe or pebe if you're watching this from Botswana, so you save that until the end so that you're gonna end up with the 66 end up you're gonna end up with 66,800 or there about yeah people are like no it's not adding up i'm actually getting 7,000 no 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 learn how to do the compound interest calculator you know what guys that marks the end of my video but don't forget i have a booklet on money market fund you can actually pick it up and be able to read by yourself I have a booklet on circles you can pick it up as well you can get that number from the description shoot me a text this book goes for 220 280 kenyan shillings that's like less than three dollars this one as well you can get the booklet on bills and bowl that goes for 440 shillings you can get it and learn by yourself for now it's a good buy and see you in the next one.